Hi, this is a tutorial video for our seat booking with interactive floor plan Excel template. Let's see how you can effortlessly perform and manage seat bookings for your office space. Booking a seat. Go to cell A1 in the booking sheet and enter the date you want to book a seat for. The green status in the interactive floor plan and the traffic light icons at the top of the sheet signify that the seats are available for the selected date. If you're using Excel desktop, you can click at the green occupancy status box directly. Alternatively, you can click at the traffic light icon. It will lead you to the booking cell. Now you just need to enter your name to book the seat for the selected date. That's it. Last step is to double check that you've booked the right seat for yourself. If you're using Excel on web, you can hold control key while clicking at the traffic light icon to go to the booking cell. Note that for Excel on web, you cannot click at the status box in the floor plan directly. This is a limitation for Excel on web. Highlighting the seats. Enter a name into the highlight input box at the top of the sheet and the seat assigned to that person will be highlighted in orange. Partial match is also possible by putting the keyword inside a pair of asterisks. This can be very useful, especially if the assignee's name includes additional information like a team. For examples, you can quickly check where your team is sitting, so that you can book the seat close to them. Setting up a booking sheet, this part is for admin only. Make a copy of template sheet, and rename it as needed. Copy and paste the floor plan image into the white space area starting at row number 5. You can adjust row's height to accommodate floor plan image aspect ratio. As a side note, if you don't have floor plan image readily available, you can easily create one with free web app like draw.io. Visit www.drawio.com slash blog slash floor plans and you can create floor plan in the matter of minutes. Right click at the floor plan image. Click at send to back. Right click at the floor plan image. Click at size and properties. On the right panel, ensure that the don't move or size with cells option is selected and the locked option is checked. You can see that there are 100 placeholders for seats, and by default they are labeled from 1 to 100. The seat labels can be changed by modifying the text values in dark blue cells below the floor plan area. Now let's move those placeholders for seat statuses into the right place. Go to Home, Find and Select, then click at Selection Pane. On the selection pane, scroll down and select chart underscore 001. You will see that the object in the floor plan area gets selected. Now pay very close attention as this step will be a bit tricky. Move your mouse cursor to the border line of chart underscore 001. Ensure that the cursor shows four directional arrow icon with a tooltip that says chart area. Click and hold you left click and drag the object to corresponding seat. From the selection pane, select each of the other chart items to move them until you have filled up all the seats in the floor plan. Make sure to select the chart using the selection pane. If you select the chart directly from the sheet, it can lead to unwanted results. Once you've finished placing all the charts, it's likely that there will be some remaining charts that you don't need. Do not delete them. Instead, just toggle the chart visibility from the eye icon in the selection pane. 
If you ever add more seats to the floor plan in the future, you can just toggle their visibility from here. Then, select the dark blue cells for the labels of those unneeded seats and hit delete key to clear the values. Specify the very first date in the list below the date column in the booking table. Hover your mouse over the little block in the lower right corner of the first date cell. Ensure the cursor changes to a black hairline plus sign. Drag your mouse down to fill the series of dates. This could go for a number of several hundred dates. If you don't need weekend dates, just click at the smart tag and choose fill weekdays. Once the sheet is ready, you might want to protect the sheet to prevent accidental modification on the images, objects, and formulas by users. Right click at the sheet and choose protect sheet. Ensure that the options select locked cells and select unlock cells are checked. Enter a password and click OK. Then re-enter the password and click OK. Finally, go to Config Sheet and enter the name list. Remember to sort it every time you add new names here. Last but not least, hide the template sheet as your users don't need to see it. Test out your booking sheet by selecting a date and click at Occupancy Status Box and Traffic Light. Congratulations! Now your seat booking sheet is ready. Go ahead and share it with your colleagues on OneDrive or SharePoint as needed.